Hi, I'm Sarah McIntyre and welcome to my studio. This is where I create and I am thrilled to be illustrating the Faber Book of Bedtime Stories. Um, it's the first time I've ever worked on with Faber and also it's the most pictures I've ever made for one book. Um, at the last count it was 180 pictures, like full paintings. Um, here you can see them in some of the folders and I'm still not finished. So it's going to be more than 180. That's so much more than I've ever done before. Um, but it's super exciting. I'm really getting to test my painting skills and um, yeah. <laughs> so you might know me from my solo books, such as um, the Grumpy Corn Picture books, which are also um, heavily painted. And the books I do with Philip Reeve, which are sort of ink and digital. Um, and this is just a real departure. Um, and a big challenge. Uh, so here you are in the studio where you can see all the pens and paints and things I use to create my pictures. As you can see, I put a lot of patterns into my artwork and this is very much influenced by some of the textiles I have in the studio. I live in Deptford in South London and we have a lot of really cool fabric shops and you can definitely catch like the influence of that Ankara fabric in some of my pictures. Um, one of my favorite stories is by Luke Kunzler and it's called Do You Want to Swap? And it's about a class whose magical teacher lets them adopt a mythical creature for a day. Here you can see the golden crate that mysteriously appears on their playground and some of the mythical creatures I've painted. They're very beautiful, unicorns and dragons. Except the very last child in the queue gets this lame little swamp monster, little green squidgy thing and it's horrible and no one wants to swap with her. Uh, but it eventually wins her heart, and I had a lot of fun making it come to life. So here you can see some of the pictures. There's this little swamp monster. So cute! Sorry if I do say so myself. There it is playing in the sink. Um, there it is with the little picture it's made for her in the bin at school. It loves her. You can see it's won her heart. So you might wonder how I go about creating these pictures. Well, the first thing I do, I, I first work with designer Emma Eldridge to figure out where the pictures need to go. And then I use ink and watercolor to paint them. I've done digital work um, with scanning and stuff, but I really enjoy going back to paint and just working with paint and, and ink and paper. It puts me in a really a better headspace, I think, because you actually get to see everything just like happening in front of you. And it's kind of like magic. So if any of the authors are watching this video, um, I just want to say hello and I ho really hope you like the artwork that I've put into your picture. Um, there's quite a lot of you and it's very exciting. So big wave. I hope you like the new book and we're in the middle of creating the covers right now. So I'm so excited to see it all put together. Thanks so much for working with me. It's the favorite book of bedtime stories. Illustrated by Sarah McIntyre.